Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ayy The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now Right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow, jam. Don't leave me on red. All we have is the moment Just text, I know it's a toss Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting all day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the face on slow All we have is the moment
in my mind Booty Booty VIP only tonight. Make sure you upgrade your membership if you want to talk. If you want to talk, make sure you go ahead and get a membership. It's an open bar tonight. We got the taco truck outside. Go support. Go support them Texas tacos. You only gonna be able to hate from the outside of the club cause we going in tonight. It's the High Powered Podcast. Lit conversations, debates, and advice that keep you turned up. My skin is simply flawless. It's glowing. It's perfect. It is clear. It is beautiful. Do you want to know why? This baby right here, right here, Shea Butters. This makes the world go round. 
this makes your skin happy. Your skin thanks you and throws a party every single time you put it on. This literally is the secret to happy skin, to happy, clear, moisturized, beautiful, perfect, glowing skin. And I hate to tell you guys, but if you don't have share butters, you might as well wear a paper bag over your head. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the High Power Podcast. And I'm your host, Princella the Queen Makeup in here. Mm-hmm. I got my I got my wine and I got my little cigar and I got me a little fruit tray back there with some chocolate dip and my strawberries kind of got a little sexy tonight. <laughs> What's the occasion, you might ask? Ah! Ah! The celebration! Bitches! Correct! The celebration, bitches! So tell them every tennis! Ah! Rick James! <laughs> the mm. milk's gone bad! Yeah! <laughs> it's a celebration, bitches! <laughs> It's a celebration, not for me. It's not a celebr. It's not a celebration for me. It's a celebration for all of the people that they've perpetually offended. <laughs> mm. Who? Who is they? <laughs> who is they? Uh. Your boys. Your boys, fresh and fit. Yeah, see, <laughs> word on the street is that they done lost their money. They, they video is still up, but they done lost their money, right? Maybe, maybe it's because, you know, the queen maker went over there, you know, and put a little sprinkle, sprinkle over there <laughs> on that ass. And then it just took a little time to germinate, right? You know, you, you, they've been messing with a lot of folks, you know, doing some questionable things um, against, you know, YouTube's community standards. But according to them, they've done, they don't know. They don't really know the reason that they done lost their bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of analyzing, you know, because they had, you know, a lot of people had a lot to say about the 37-year-old auntie that came on there, you know. <laughs> yeah, auntie, yeah, yeah. So I'm still 37 because I was 37 when I went on there, and I'm still 37, which lets you know that it wasn't that long ago <laughs> that I was on there. <laughs> mm. Boy, the creator show do work fast, don't it? The creator show work fast, don't she? That's right, I said she. Because <laughs> that's who the original creator of all things is. And if you keep on messing with her, <laughs> you're going to meet your day of reckoning too. You're going to meet your day of reckoning too. All right. So um, why don't we just go ahead and, and pull, up, pull up some stuff and analyze what might have possibly got them to lose their bag? <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's see. Okay. And we're going to get up out of here. We're going to close that. We're going to close that. And we're going to leave Paige. Yep. We're going to close that too. And then we're going to open this right here. We gonna open this right here, and then I'm gonna turn my camera around so y'all can see it, baby. <laughs> I'm assuming that y'all can see that. Let's take a look at here. It sucks, guys. It really does suck. Um, you know, fortunately, we you know we made some moves, etc. You know, and we kind of saw knew that the type of content that we make. For us to be able to give you this content, we have to. It comes at a cost. It comes at a cost, dude. And it won't be here forever. Yeah. And, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this, you know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah. Uh, they thought we was capping, man. Yeah. They thought it was a joke. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's go ahead and stop right there. 
This was an indicator that they already knew that they was on the verge of getting banned, right? Or demonetized. They, they knew it. But they chose to continue on with their antics. They chose to continue doing what they were doing. Because in their delusional mind, they're helping someone. Do what they think, right? So let's just, just go. It sucks, guys. It really does suck. It sucks for you. It doesn't suck for humanity. It doesn't suck for the public who's being protected from you inciting violence, right? It, 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 it sucks for you, but it does not suck for the public, okay? Um, you know, fortunately, we, you know, we made some moves. It what moves? Unfortunate, or fortunate, unfortunately, you made some moves. What moves, sir? What moves? Can you specify what you actually did? Can, can, can you do that? Etc. you know, and we kind of saw, knew that the type of content that we make, for us to be able to give you this content, we have to... It comes at a cost. It comes at a cost, dude. And it won't be here forever. Yeah. And, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this, you know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah. Uh, they thought we was capping, man. Yeah. They thought it was a joke. And, and you know, we did... No. Y'all thought it was a joke. Because... You was making millions of dollars doing what you were doing. And you felt that YouTube wouldn't let you go because they was getting a piece of your millions, right? You didn't think <laughs> that they was actually going to boot you, right? Because if you knew that eventually you was going to get booted, you wouldn't say what you about to get ready to say in a few minutes. But let's continue. We made moves on the side knowing that this could potentially happen. And guys, we, we the channel has been kicked off the YouTube Partner Program. Just keep it straight. If with you look right now, you can't even super chat or you can't even remember. super chat right now. Yep. Uh, so this is the beginning of the end of this era. So it's the beginning of the end. So y'all know that ain't nobody gonna be uh, <laughs> hearing from you too much more too much longer because um, YouTube don't want you. I think Rumble about, to, about, about ready to kick you out of there. And so is the place that you are um, recording in. And chances are the reason that the people want to kick you out of the place. That, because y'all have had way too many instances where y'all got to kick people out and y'all start almost damn near fighting in there. Right? Because it's so toxic. It's so toxic. And for some reason, this is what we think the world should be. We think we should promote toxicity, right? In the name of quote unquote masculinity, because masculinity is toxicity, clearly, right? Because they think this is masculine, right? Well, we are in trolling chat, so. Yeah, yeah. so you, you literally can't, yeah, man. So it's, uh, so basically, we're... <laughs> We're gonna figure out what it, what's going on, because we don't even really know all the details. Uh, to Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You don't really know all the details. How sway? Because anytime YouTube wants to tell you something about your your violations, they straight up tell you. They let you know what you're being violated for. And with a history of racking up tons of violations, you're not going to sell me on the idea that you ain't know. Oh, you knew. You just thought you were invincible. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the part where uh, we built the world. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the part where we built the world. You and I told him. Oh, oh, no, we're going to get there. We're going to get there because I read your book, Myron. Myron, I read your book. And all the men that you say built the world, ain't none of them look like you. Including the ones that did YouTube. That's right. That's right. And, and including the ones that built YouTube. They didn't look like you either. Try to 
come to a middle ground and you know work together and figure this out oh is he crying is he on his knees begging please right i'm down on bended knee baby i'm sorry please forgive me oh rewind youtube i'm sorry please forgive me please forgive me mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh yeah <laughs> sing right go ahead but for now we don't even know why we yeah we they just dumb they just they just they just dumbfounded i i i, I really don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> what we did <laughs> don't know the specific i love doing this I'd be lying to you guys if I didn't say I didn't love doing this. I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this. You shouldn't be admitting it because you know it's some bullshit that you finna get ready to come out and say at your mouth. You know it's some bullshit, right? But saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. So, you're saying that focusing your attention on adult incels who like to throw temper tantrums is better than saving children. And then you wonder why I say keep your kids away from them. Because they got some homoerotic stuff going on. Now, this is homoerotic and using men for their money using desperate men for their money the same stuff that they try to say that they try to say pimp 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 seller do pimp seller do right because <laughs> i'm the pimp in this motherfucker right <laughs> the same thing they try to say the pimp seller do and Derek jackson do that's the same thing that nigga doing to the overgrown ass dudes who don't have nothing going for themselves because saving children, because the real thing is saving children was cool, but you was making $101,000 a year because you say six figures. You was, a, you was $1 over five <laughs> figures, okay? $1 over five figures. And these motherfuckers will pay your ass six figures a month. That's the real reason. <laughs> That's the real reason why saving you guys, because you ain't saving nobody, right? Pandering to you guys is better, right? That's the real reason that pandering to you guys is better. And you just saw, you just went from green or you just went from black to red. See, yo, yo CPA, because you got a lot of properties and shit. Yo CPA, baby, you finna have to turn them cars back in. Cause I know the little eight properties that you got, the little two that you got, the, the, the two that you got in Miami and the other uh six or eight that you got in Connecticut. I know they not finna be paying for them Lamborghinis and shit. <laughs> and I hope all that camera equipment y'all done paid for. You you, you <laughs> baby. You gonna have to you gonna have to run them damn cars into the ocean and just hope gap insurance take care of the rest of it. Cause uh <laughs> I don't know how the hell you finna make up six figures a month. I don't know how you gonna do it. Because they didn't demonetize all y'all channels. All y'all channels they didn't demonetize, right? Because you don't know when to quit. You don't know when to hold them and you don't know when to fold them. I done told you greed, greed, and no governor on a person's behavior, right, is the, the key element of a male. You can't tell them nothing and they don't know how to govern themselves. And so even with the people that you partnered with, you didn't want to listen to them, right? And so the male don't understand nothing but consequences and rewards. Rewards and consequences is all the male understands. And in order to get him to behave properly, you have to hit him with a consequence. 
but they think that consequences only belong, only supposed to be um, given to women. Since they're males and since we built the world, they thought that they, they thought they was on the same team. He, he thought he was a part of the creators or the architects of the matrix. He thought so. But he sure learned today. You gonna learn today. It's a celebration. <laughs> it's a celebration, bitches. <laughs> show queen, show the queen your titties. Show the queen your titties, right? Because I know you got some, Myron. I know you got some under that fresh and fit shirt you got. That old tight ass shirt you got. I know you got some titties under there. Show the queen making your titties. It's a celebration. <laughs> Cry me a river. Hoot your daddy shorts. Look, hoot your daddy. Go on back. Hoot your daddy. Look, 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 look. Now how you gonna cry in hoot your daddy shorts? Mm. How you gonna be crying in hoot your daddy shorts? You an alpha man. Alpha men don't have emotions. They don't have feelings. They don't cry. And alpha men don't wear hoochie daddy shorts either. Where you going, Myron? Myron, where, where, where you going, baby? Come back. Come back. Right? Cry no more, no more, no more. Shooby do 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 so just pearly things, just pearly things, right? Princess pick me, <laughs> just pearly things. Princess pick me, 26, and don't know nothing. Fresh and Fit just got demonetized on YouTube. They're really coming for pro-masculine channels. And they don't want to see men succeed. I thought men built the world. Hold on. Wait a minute. Roll that back. I thought they built the world. Why would the people that built the world be against the other people that built the world? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Huh? Huh? I'm I'm confused. Are they crying because the motherfuckers that I said didn't look like them and why women deserve less is the one that took money out their pockets? Huh? Is that who it is? I, I, let me know, Princess Pick Me. Now I had to give you the title of princess because you're not Grandmaster Pick Me. Grandmaster Pick Me was uh, Shahrazad Ali. Um, and her cousin, since ain't no such thing as race, you know, melanemic and melan uh, melanotic, right? Since it ain't no such thing as race, her cousin, Jane Elliott, Grandma Pick Me, <laughs> right? Queen Pick Me. I had to go ahead and give you the title of Princess Pick Me. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as race. Ain't no such thing as white and black. It's just melanemic and melanotic. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? Princess. Wish they had a place people could send donations. They probably got that shit shut down too. <laughs> She said, uh, must be his docile girl, must girl. Be docile and feminine. Yeah. yeah, all my girls are. Docile. I would never tolerate a, a, a masculine, obnoxious, abrasive woman. That's not attractive to me. I don't want to date myself. <laughs> oh, he said he would never tolerate a masculine, obnoxious, abrasive woman. Could this be part of the reason that he got demonetized? on youtube because he didn't want to date himself so basically he said he was obnoxious and abrasive obnoxious extremely unpleasant abrasive showing little concern for the feelings of others hmm showing little concern for the feelings of others could that be one of the reasons since you 
self-proclaimed yourself to be obnoxious and abrasive, <laughs> could that be one of the reasons that you ain't making money from YouTube no more? Could it be? Could it be I stayed away too long? <laughs> or did I leave your mind when I was gone? <laughs> mm. Oh, this wine is so good. <laughs> Let me get some of my strawberries and chocolate, right? <laughs> right? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I understand how you feel. <laughs> I understand how you feel, Myra. Because I got, I got suspended on TikTok, you know, for turning people on <laughs> with these dang fruits that I be eating. I shouldn't be eating fruits the way I'm eating it. So, you know, I need to take I need to take heed, right? And take responsibility for getting people's turning women's water on, right? <laughs> turning their motherfucking faucet on. Right? Being too erotic as I'm melanotic, right? Melanotic, exotic, erotic. Mm, mm, mm. Doing it so good that I got all of these. It's like they drunk on hypnotic, baby. Bars, right? Anyway, continue on. Abrasive and obnoxious, right? <laughs> uh. Well, do y'all even, even know what a relationship is? Because I'm, I'm listening to this and it's funny. Y'all know relationships are for bums? They, they for bums, right? And guess what? Myron and your little hoochie daddy shorts, you are now on the bum list because where you gonna get $600,000 a month from if it ain't from YouTube? Because you sure ain't finna get it from Rumble. <laughs> if you ain't on YouTube getting it, where you gonna get it from? Cause see, you don't want you don't want these women, you know, that's bosses. You know, you want docile chicks that can't do nothing. So now you done went from quote unquote high value, right? Cause that's what you thought you was. You done went from high value to bomb. And now you're going to be begging for a relationship because all them chicks going to realize after that, never miss your water till your well runs dry. When that, when that well dry up, and I mean all the well. I'm talking about the money well. I'm talking about the, the peach well. You know, that peach juice, that peach juice you thought you was getting, guess what? It's going to start crawling right on over here, right? It's going to start crawling right on over here, and you're going to wonder what happened to it. <laughs> As you going back, crawling back, trying to ask for your federal job back to go save the kids since you can't save the men, these adult males no more. <laughs> now you're going to go to the second choice. Eh, saving children was cool, right? I don't think the FBI or the I don't think they want you back if you think it's. It's cool to save kids, but not as important as saving adult males. I don't think they gon' I don't think they gonna give you your job back. So what you gonna do now? What the hell you gonna do now? See, males, no, serious. Males You laughing! Hold on! I see you laughing in the corner, Myron. That laugh. You ain't laughing like that no more. Look at you. Hold on. You ain't laughing like that no more. See, males, no. You see, you see that? You see that? You went from laughing to crying. Right? You went from laughing to crying because these women listening to me now and your, your, your well drying up now because you ain't got no money to do it like you were doing it. Right? You got to pay them attorneys. You got to pay them car notes. You got a lot of shit to pay. And you, 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 you. Your income just stopped immediately, immediately, <laughs> baby. You got some. You got. You got some shit on your hands. Males' Your highest mm -hmm. interest is sex. Yep. Y'all's interest. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. I forgot this one. Hold on. Let me see if I could. Let me see if I could pull that one up real quick because I just told him that his highest interest was sex and 
and they laughed at me. I, I, I didn't even think about this. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me show you what he said. I have another video of him. I have another video of him. And I think I saved it on TikTok. Because <laughs> they laughed at me when I said this. Because people just like to disagree because you're a woman. You better hope I don't find it. <clears throat> you better hope, you better hope I don't find it. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, while I'm playing this, I'm going to look for it somewhere else. I think it might be on my uh, Instagram, right? But let me go ahead and continue to play this, and I'll find it later. emotions mm. you do realize if you supply your own needs males will still chase you for sex and mm -hmm. they will they they need relationships y'all don't need relationships they need them y'all looking for clout y'all looking no, for no no i want to be with somebody one day i don't want to just like i want a man i will like submit to a man if i find a He's a little dodo bird okay i'm not even gonna talk about you because we didn't already talked about you but i need a man i don't want to be with God. shush real man who like meets all my requirements i will like submit want, but y'all want males to be something that they're not y'all want males no because i emotional. still expect him uh -huh. to like do what he like i still expect him to fuck other women like if he is making fucking millions that's he's gonna go have sex with another girl do like you want him to give you money I, it's not what i want no, but no, that's no. the reality no, of the I'm situation in terms of relationships do you want money or do you want emotion but that's how like you get you can have money and emotion but you need to understand your man the dodo bird shush let's get back to myron Fuck another girl. The, 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 he the, can give you money and emotion. He's still gonna have sex with another woman if he's like, if not, he has enough money. Yes, he. Yes, he is. She she arguing her god her, herself because that's what I teach. Stop trying to stop trying to keep these damn dogs on a leash and let them run free. Okay, what is she talking about? Oh, no, I've no. been with plenty of them. The yes, he is. The male is not gonna. She end. she didn't she didn't been with plenty of them, and then you wonder why your ass still single. Right? Because you had, you was fucking with a married dude with a baby mama and your ass was a side chick. Okay? Shush. God damn it. Of you? Because the male is incapable of love. That's not true. I don't oh, think the male is incapable yeah. of love. Oh, yeah. I don't oh, think a, they're completely incapable. I think they men are. love really hard. Oh, no. Men you love really hard, right? He love your ass hard enough to keep you as a side chick and let you know that he going home to his baby mama, right? <laughs> right? He, th th they love you that much. They love you enough to let you know on fresh and fit. Myron let you know that your sexual desire, your sexual pleasure, don't even fucking matter, right? And he just let you know that he had a whole bunch of girls that he don't have no intent on, uh, elevating, quote unquote, to girlfriend. We gonna hear it. We gonna hear it. They don't. They no. Do. No, they don't. Hey, See, I have you. a book called The 41 Shades of Men, and I have a book called The Five Components of Love. And I teach women how to be queens. And the one thing y'all chasing men for, the reason why you never get it, is because they can't but give it. But a queen's it. not a queen without a king. Is it queen? Is it, I mean, her goddamn voice getting on my nerves. Don't no dude want no chick that talk like that. Let them sit up here and lie. They do not want nobody talk like that. First of all, a female's voice really do irritate the hell out of a male's brain. That's why they don't like to hear you talk. Shush. And damn sure so if you're talking like that. Are you, are you sure about it's that? It's a king and a queen. Are you sure about that? It's a king and a queen. Are you sure about that? Because you know that. It's, the, the it's a king and a queen. It's a king and a queen. Who the fuck want to fuck somebody like that? Please tell me who the fuck want to marry somebody like that. She sound retarded. I mean, because we talk of science, we talk of logic, right? Yeah, yeah. So there is no such thing as a king ant. The ant colony is run by women. <laughs> there is no such thing as a king bee. So you can't say that because the facts of nature show otherwise. See, well, what about a lion? A lion? Yeah, a lion. Well, auntie, we're lion sex. No, no, no. I mean, I'm also religious. 
this and I feel like our originating story is like Adam and Eve. It's not like I feel, I feel. Don't nobody care what you feel. But let's continue because Myron finna say something real interesting in this clip. Like Eve. And it wasn't like Eve. See, like, or here's, Adam. Here's the thing. So look, <laughs> like I get what you're saying. You want women to be empowered and to be able to deal without men and men don't love and all this other stuff and I get it, but you gotta understand that that's a strategy that's gonna leave a lot of women miserable. Oh, it's only gonna leave because... them miserable because... Now listen, now. He say that's gonna leave a lot of women miserable. Keep that in mind. Now listen to what he say after this, okay, right? Listen to what he, people been listening to a bunch of delusional people. They have been making millions of dollars being delusional and harming, actually harming society more than helping society, right? Listen to the idiotic stuff that he about to get ready to say. We supposed to need each other, but his idea of need, of a woman needing him, remember, he already said that he was obnoxious and abrasive, right? He don't want to date, he don't want to date himself. So, in, in the male's mind, a woman needs a male who cares little about their feelings. Now, these, this chick, none of these chicks heard this. She's steady sitting up here arguing. She's steady sitting up here arguing that I don't think men are incapable of love, but Myron just told you about three minutes ago in this same clip, in this same setting, that I want a docile chick. All of my chicks are docile because I don't want no chick that's obnoxious and abrasive. I don't want to date myself. Right. And abrasive means caring, have li having little concern for another person's feelings. Now he's saying that we are better together Always. We've always been better together. Since when? If you categorize masculinity as being obnoxious and abrasive. They're going to live miserable because, because they're, they're deficient. They're, they're codependent. And they think that they can get their needs met by males. But they can't. And so what they'll do is get their energy sucked dry as young women. And then when they hit my age, you know, when we hit the wall. Yeah. And, and, facts, winter, facts. and winter come. Facts. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, facts. Facts, 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 right? Right? When they hit the wall, you'll tell them that they should have chose better. Now check it. Listen. Yeah, when they get when, when we when winter comes, yeah. then you, they'll get back on here and y'all will tell them, hey, y'all should have chose better. Yep. So the reason why he say yeah, yeah, we'll tell them that they should have chose better, right? They in their mind, these girls should continue to choose obnoxious and abrasive guys who just told you that they don't give a damn about you, and then you turn around and say, we're better together. Can't choose better because they don't choose themselves. They choose y'all, and they shouldn't be choosing y'all. But I disagree, because <laughs> the thing is, is that for all of human evolution, we've always been better together than apart. Like, what, the thing is, is that you don't understand, right? You're able to say the things that you're saying now because you enjoy the modern conveniences that men have built up. With. Whoa! You able to say the things you saying because you because you're able to enjoy the privileges that modern men built for you sir you have been demonetized <laughs> sir you have been demonetized on a platform that was built by a bunch of men that didn't look like you <laughs> Because they gave you the privilege to say what you were saying and they told you to stop and you didn't. Facts, and winter, and winter comes, yeah, yeah, when, they get, when, when, we, when winter comes, yeah. then you, they'll get back on here and y'all will tell them, hey, y'all should have chose better. Yep. So the reason why they can't choose better because they don't choose themselves. They choose y'all and they shouldn't be choosing y'all. But I disagree because <laughs> the thing is, is that for all of human evolution, we've always been better together than apart. Like what, the thing is, is that you don't understand, right? You're able to say the things that you're saying now because you enjoy the modern conveniences that men have built up where you can be what by yourself. What, what men? Because I, I read your book 
and all that of created the, society. Wait a minute, what men? Because the, the 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 men that you named in the book didn't look like you. What? Elon Elon Musk. Uh, you say what? You say what? Wait a minute. You are demonetized right now. You are demonetized right now because the people who created this, who the real architects, right? Who didn't look like you took your privilege away for you to say and do what you was doing for money. And now you in the same boat as the women who you want to talk shit about. Because guess what? You didn't build none of this stuff that you trying to take credit for. But you are only better together when the male is sucking the resources out of a woman. Because you just said three minutes ago that you are obnoxious and abrasive. And abrasive meaning that you care you have very little concern for other people's feelings so you're only better together because you need women to build yourself up because this podcast wouldn't be shit without those women on it so yeah you're better together in terms of how you benefit from women but at your own mouth you don't even care about these women so it ain't no damn we it's i my me in terms of you let's keep it a book let's keep it a book you you mentioned elon musk All of yeah you put your hand on your head Lay your head on my pillow, yeah, baby, and just start crying, start crying, start crying. This shoulder was made for you, right? Put your hand on your head because the proof is in the pudding. White males. Why didn't you mention any black males in your book? Am okay. You didn't. No, no. He didn't mention that. I list, I, I read your book. Uh uh. Don't sigh at me telling you the raw truth. Sigh at YouTube and beg for them white folks to give you your privilege of making money back. Get on your knees and beg them to give you your monetization back. See, the truth don't need no goddamn defense. And I told him right in his face, yo, you didn't write about no men that look like you, sir. It ain't no we built the world. They built the world and gave y'all asses privileges as male. And you, and you use women as commodities to step your own life up, right? Because you can't do it without these women and the males who conquered everything they gave you the privilege. But let me let you know, you ain't part of the club, brother. You ain't part of the club, and they showed you better than they could tell you. Okay. So none of the males that you mentioned that built the world look like y'all so they still thing. have dicks though we're not ah they still got dicks and they done made you get on your knees uh-huh i ain't gonna get too goddamn raw <laughs> i'm not gonna get too goddamn raw they still got dicks though but them dicks is pink them dicks is pink you know, like the little, the, like the little pit bull when the little red thing pop out. <laughs> them pit, them dicks ain't got no color to it. Right. Right. You are not part of the club. Get out, Myron, and say, Prisa, Auntie, I'm sorry, we not part of the club. I know you ain't. That's why you ain't, you ain't got yourself in the book, nigga. That's why you ain't got yourself in the book this a race thing we're making this a gender thing and what i'm saying oh we ain't making it a race thing you making it a gender thing hold on rewind just a couple 
See, they still have dicks, though. We're not making this a race thing. We're making this a gender thing. And what I'm saying is that men built up the world. But period. It's only black males. Out I don't know why crying. you're deflecting here, trying to make it like a black and white thing. <laughs> it's not dicks. a black and white Wait, thing. But, she's, but it's it's that, but that's irrelevant. For she's trying to no 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 stop. We're not going to go down that road because. <laughs> Because the thing is, is that we're not going to make this a black or white thing because that's not what the conversation is about. But it's y'all asking you're trying for to make submission. It a, you're trying to make it a racial thing, and it's not a racial thing. But it's I'm y'all simply saying for submission, men Byron. built up the world. But what men? Because y'all also talk about white supremacy, too. And that What? what? Y'all also, <laughs> males, no, no. The black males also talk about being oppressed by the males that y'all say built the world. That's just about, that's the bottom Bro. line. Okay, <laughs> who ever said that on this Bro, podcast? We are, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, why are you making... making okay. This is a race podcast all of a sudden. Like, no one cares about race. I'm A few moments later. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl's still up. You have to wear that, too. Yeah, of course. Wait a minute. Rewind. Hold on. Say it again. A race podcast all of a sudden. Like, no one cares about race. I'm A few moments later. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl's still up. You have to wear that, too. Yeah, of course. How am I going to break this down if I'm not in my proper attire as a race? Bro. All right, can you move over a little bit? Okay, I'm moving over. Fucking change. You see out of that, you fucking sand neck. But it's okay. White supremacist sand neck. Shut up. You're a bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. In Asia. Nobody cares about race though. It's just dicks. It don't matter. Race don't matter. It's just dicks. That's what he said. That's what he said, but now he in a goddamn what? He in a, he in a hoodie? He, 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 in a, he in a white supremacist hoodie talk about niggers, right? That what he say. Listen to me. The truth is undefeated, baby. All you got to do is stand in truth and watch the motherfucking shit play out. All you got to do is tell the truth and step back and watch that bitch do her thing. That right. <laughs> 37 year old auntie bounce that ass baby how bounce that goddamn ass <laughs> white this is sand Nick. shut up you're a bro you're the worst of the worst you eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy mm. in Asia. i thought it didn't yeah. matter i thought i thought race didn't matter and and this ain't a race podcast. Ain't that what he said? Hold on. Rewind. Males that y'all say built the world. That's just about, that's the bottom Bro. line. Okay. <laughs> Who ever said that on this Bro, podcast? We are, like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you making, making this a race podcast all of a sudden? Like, no one cares about race. I'm a few moments later. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl so You have to wear that too. Yeah, of course. How am I going to break this down if I'm not in my proper attire as a race? Bro. All right, can you move over a little bit? Okay, I'm moving over. Fucking... You see out of that, you fucking sand neck? But it's okay. You know he ain't going to be able to get his job back at the FBI, right? Nigga, you not going to be able to get your job back with the FBI. You didn't plan too well, did you? Oh, we don't know why we got demonetized. We don't know. I'm sure you don't know. I'm sure you can't figure it out. It's okay. White supremacist sand neck. Shut up. You're a bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. In Asia. Yeah, true. Pause right. This nigga here is funny. He's funny. This nigga. This ain't a race podcast though. And Priscilla was the was the racist person for bringing it up, for bringing up the facts that you ain't got no black folks in your book, and you ain't got no Sudanese ones in there either. And now you're begging and crying for the people who actually built the world to give you some privilege right get on your goddamn knees and beg and see the goddamn truth oh now you want to holler at some matrix <laughs> i don't condone this n-word oh. shut up you albanian <laughs> keep running the clip you train no 
Keep running the clip. Who's that? Who's that weird dude that can't speak? Who's that? He black as hell. Fatima. Yeah, let's keep going. I fucking prayed. I went windows for fun. Holy shit, who's this gay nerd? Community guidelines violation out the wazoo. So you doing this, you invite Nick Fuentes, who is a known white supremacist who has been banned. You bring him to your channel. You bring Tommy Sotomayor, who has been banned from YouTube, right? You bring your own Sneakos podcast, which he's been banned. And you can't figure out why you've been demonetized. You didn't think that they was going to let you go. You didn't think them white folks would cut their damn losses. You thought that the white folks who run YouTube, you thought they were some desperate hoes. That's what you thought. You thought the money that you was making was doing YouTube a favor. You thought you was the pimp and YouTube was the hoe. That's what you thought. And that, the, they showed your ass better than they could tell you. Now, since you built the world, why in the hell... Did you run from YouTube to Rumble and start begging people to subscribe for $5 like a $2 hoe? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nigga, you went, from, you went from big alpha male to motherfucking hoe. $5, $5 foot long, $5 sucky sucky, rumble, rumble, $5. That what you're doing now, nigga. <laughs> what in tarnation fucking pussy shit is that? <laughs> I know that preach name. Mad respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What? What? I want to get another rat. My wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> Yo, we you should... gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo. We should fly her up. Guaranteed. <laughs> Flewed out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the behavior of an alpha male. <laughs> five, five dollars sucky sucky. <laughs> that right? <laughs> that right? You gonna be out there hoeing. You gonna be out there hoeing. Baby, listen. <laughs> they call me pimp seller, baby. I can take another hoe. I take a dude. I take some, I I take some Wayne Wang and put it out on the corner, right? I take some Wayne Wang and put it out on the corner. Now, these women might not want to fuck with it, but I know a couple dudes that will. I know a couple dudes that'll fuck with you. <laughs> fuck, stop! What, what? I want to get another ride. My wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> Yo, we you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo. We should fly her up. Guaranteed. <laughs> Flowed <it> out. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Just don't matter. I love you. 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 Yeah. You're making them dumbass faces. Damn like same. <laughs> We fucking help guys make money. We help guys get in shape. We help men improve. What the fuck are Thanks. you dumbass niggas doing behind your shitty? Y'all ain't helping no dudes improve. <laughs> You're helping them be just just as crazy as y'all. Cause you did you didn't even present yourself as the example of an actual leader, sir. Right? You couldn't show people that you had a governor on your behavior, which is what a man's supposed to have, a governor on his behavior and the ability to govern, self-govern. You can't do it. You allowed yourself to lose millions of dollars because of your ego and your inability to govern yourself. Who in the hell are you improving? Who are you self-improving? Because it ain't none of these damn dudes out here who really need it. Right. Yes. Road shotgun, Mike. <laughs> Yo, Chad, Yo, Chad put a one in chat if you agree with us. Yo, real talk with that. Look at the white girl. I could tell you Look at the white girl. She laughing. Listen, I thought this wasn't no race podcast. 
Priscilla was wrong for quote unquote bringing race into it. But look how long he talking about race and look at the white girl laughing. Right? Stand in truth and watch that bitch do her job. Stand in truth and stand on truth and watch that bitch do her job. This is what you call resting in your goddamn femininity. This is how you rest in your femininity. You stand on truth and you don't do nothing else. You stand on truth and you do nothing else and you watch that shit unfold. That's how you rest in your femininity. Cause D nigga doing all the damn work. <laughs> Stink from the fucking video I'm watching right now. Y'all be sweating in the fucking studio. <laughs> and y'all standing mad awkwardly Yo. close to each other talking to that shitty ass mic. Hey, what's your take on this bitch? I don't know. I don't know. The fuck is this? Look at the simply saying, because you're trying to say here. Let's go back all the way here because you're going on a tangent. No, okay. You're saying, oh. I, I went on, he say, I went on a tangent. No, baby. See, they don't understand that there's a difference between going on a tangent and going deep in a topic, right? Right? Going deep in a topic. See, going on a tangent will be talking about, would be saying two plus two is four. And then you start talking about somebody going to the store. Something that's totally off topic. But talking about two plus two is four and then turn around and say, well, if you if you understand um, addition, you can now learn to multiply and divide. Right. And then once you get multiplication and division, you can start doing exponents. See, they don't understand depth. They think going deep into a point is going on a goddamn tangent. Psycho. Right? Uneducated people. Depending upon men, you need to be able to be by yourself and, you know, be a queen, blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying, the thing is, is that that strategy that you're telling women to employ is going to leave them sad, alone, and depressed. Because okay, so you mean to tell me that you being obnoxious and abrasive and letting women know that you... Are just using them is not going to leave them sad, depressed, and lonely. Is that what you're telling me? Because that's what you said at the beginning of the video. How is a woman being alone and full in herself going to leave her unhappy and depressed as opposed to being with an obnoxious and abrasive guy who don't give a fuck about her feelings and using her until she ain't got nothing enough to use. So you could turn around and say that she should have chose better. Tell me. Huh? How the fuck does that make any sense? Women are social creatures. They like to be around a family, oh. children. Uh, no, 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 no. Social. Let me tell you something, sir. <laughs> social creature don't mean that the social setup has to be a family or kids. Social means other people. OK, specifically women who they have stuff in co common with that they can do stuff with. Being social don't mean being with a damn dude. See, that's where these dudes try to change the narrative. They want to isolate you from building community among, uh, amongst other women who are actually going to be the ones to help you. Because guess what? When you need a babysitter, are you calling a damn dude or are you calling a fucking woman? Are you taking your kids to a daycare run by only men or are you taking it to, to, to other women? It sounds like the community is women. Women and children. So a woman being social ain't got nothing to do with her being all up in some dude face. It got everything to do with her relationships with other women. But you want to cut her off from that. And, and, and while you're saying that you don't give a damn about her feelings and that we're better together based on what you can use her for. You sit up here and say that in this whole clip right here. Yeah. Of women, the community was. You know, women. stop the show. Hold on. <laughs> Let's. Add oh, listen. Stop the show, right? You want to stop the show because I'm telling you the truth about it's women, right? 
So now you ask these chicks, these young girls who have very little experience, who have been manipulated through this whole system to think that they need a male and that their companionship comes from a male. Now you ask brainwashed chicks who you also said were delusional in this same show. You ask these delusional ass chicks what they want and they don't know because you got a fucking 19 year old child on the damn panel right now. 19 year old kid with no life experience. How many of y'all want to be single for the rest of your life? Raise your hands. No. Thank you. Okay. Point okay. proven. No, no. You're the only one that's... It ain't no point proven because they're all young with no experience living in a delusional world. They're living in a delusional world. They don't even know what the hell they want. They don't have enough experience to say yay or nay. With it. No, no. Here's the thing. Now, let's, you're a logical Most male. Most women don't want that. You're a logical male, though, right? You're a logical male. Yes. So, okay, since we're logical, we have to go back to psychological programming, right? Is that a thing or is it not? Women are social creatures. They were social amongst other women. It takes a village to raise a child. Who was the village? It's always been women. Who are, who are women taking their children to for daycare services? Other women. But the who, are doing the male, who are doing the maid services? Women. Women run pretty much everything. But the it, men, really, the men would go hunt, come back home. See, I this is probably about the this is I probably was the only motherfucker that really got they ass to be able to at least try to engage in the conversation. This shit had them so <laughs> this conversation had them so uncomfortable, right? That they wasn't expecting it. Now we finna get to the Matrix. I think this whole clip finna get ready to get into this Matrix talk that he said didn't exist. But as soon as he got demonetized, now you say it is a Matrix. There is a Matrix. I, I want to see what you got to say now. Because you was doing a whole lot of bucking on here just to turn around and whine and cry about the stuff that I told you was the truth. Which you already know. You just you just disagreeable just because, right? Oh, and by the way, this chick right here, the white girl right there, she's the nineteen year old. He would go. He would go. Men are not hunting anymore. No, no, but they're going to work though. They're making money for the family, come back home. It's the same dynamic. In in a system that y'all complain about not allowing you to be free and to be in your nature. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm free. I'm no, not no, no, no. All. Because the book "Why <laughs> Women Deserve Less" mm -hmm. is talking about males not being able to be free in their nature. You know, going to work and you can't break this rule, that rule. That's all created by patriarchy. All of these rules that you say men created, those rules were created by men. Well, what's your argument here? Hmm? What's your argument here? I'm confused. You my, just went on a whole other side tangent from no, what we we're talking about. No, my argument is this, is that everything that y'all are saying is not fully true. It's not fully true. Which part? Hmm? Which part of it? Uh, about men being the ones that, that don't need relationships, that women need relationships, and that women don't want to be single. Women were never single. Their social relationships and their social bonds have always been with other women throughout history, throughout okay. history. They want dick too, though. But why do they want dick? You know why they want dick? Because, of, because you see, y'all want pair bonding. How, how do women get pair? How, how do you pair bond? Bro. What are you no. saying right now? How do you pair bond? Yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> she came oh. here with an agenda, bro. I, I told you at the beginning that I came there with an agenda. I told them when they asked me what I, uh, to come there that I came there with an agenda, right? This ain't this this is not this is not uh out of the blue. But the fact of the matter is you can't handle stand up in this conversation at all, right? Women won't dick because of the damn chemical shit that y'all done been put, pumping into them. And this fucking system that keep telling them that they have to have men that they have to have men that's the truth because when they know what it is they don't want y'all ass no more they don't want y'all ass no more right 
about some random shit that don't make sense that isn't even what oh. we're talking about. Wait a minute. So so like, women women not wanting to be with more than one male don't have anything to do with quote unquote pair bonding? Look, man. Science? Let's let's get back to the main point here. Your strategy that you are saying for mm -hmm. women to employ of loving themselves and being by themselves and not worrying about men and pimp out the men and they're the hoes and we're the ones that are actually the pimps, <laughs> all this other stuff, that will leave a lot of women single, depressed, without a man, with cats and dogs. Oh. What is the value of a man? And what's wrong with being single? Nothing, especially if you are if you are flourishing in your singleness because the shit that you're talking about will damage women. Everything that he done sat up there and talked to, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, young and tender, so sedated. Uh, uh, I like that kitty, kitty. Chocolate cherry, strawberry. Listen, if you want me to sing that song to you, here, kitty, 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 you gonna have to get you some kitty cartel first. Because don't nobody want no kitty that ain't clean with kitty cartel. You need to put that kitty cake in there, get you some kitty coke, uh, kitty crack, right? Here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I'll sing it to you after you done showed me that you done got you some of that kitty cartel. Now, you can go look in my description and uh, get you a, a discount by using the queen maker. Here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, young and tender, so sedated. I, I, I like that kitty, kitty, chocolate cherry, strawberry, classic sauce. You so nasty. <laughs> All right, back to this fool. <laughs> Y'all want a pair of on? Only because they believe so, what y'all saying. That's all. That's the only reason why. Bro, it's not about them believing. Because listen, a lot of women don't watch our podcast. It's mostly men that watch our podcast. Yeah. Right? It, 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 it's mostly men that watch your podcast, maybe, but it's only women on your damn show. You keep bringing, and they're letting you know that they believe what the hell you saying. And they show me that as they sit up here on the on the uh, panel saying dumb ass shit, dumb stuff. And since the beginning of time, have wanted to walk down the aisle in a white dress. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop right there. Walking down the aisle in a white dress ain't even been in existence since the beginning of time, nigga. This motherfucker talking like some doggone Neanderthals had goddamn. White dresses and a whole damn ceremony while he was clubbing bitches upside the head. While they was in the Caucasus Mountains. That, that's what the nigga saying. And people really taking these fools serious since the beginning of time. Women have wanted to walk down an aisle in a white dress. That's a goddamn lie. Because right now they showing you what they really want to do. That they tired of marrying y'all asses. They tired of being with you. But I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you the relationships that they really need to have. I, <laughs> Ask the people in the Matrix to give you y'all opportunity to make money back since y'all built the world. Y'all supposed to be in a partnership, right? You and the other dicks, right? That ain't got nothing to do with color, right? The man waiting for them. Wait a minute. Being Where married and that, being in a committed relationship. Women want a relationship. That was a production. That was a sold fantasy. That was produced by the it's people. It's what women want. I, it, it, it's what women want. No, that's what women have been manipulated to want. And I'm showing them that you need to get your ass out the delusion and start wanting something that actually benefits you. Instead of wanting somebody to suck you dry and marketing yourself as a goddamn benefits package. I can cook. I can clean. And I can suck dick real good. You see... Let me tell you, sisters, what you supposed to do. Let me get the cucumber. So you need to relax your jaws, right? Because, see, if you don't please him, he going to start cheating. So you got to do this every day. And don't you ever go a day without having sex with your man because that's how you keep a man. See, I want bitches to stop doing that. I want bitches to stop doing that. what women want why do they want That's, it it's, it's biologically they, hardwired it, no, they, uh, uh, wrong it ain't no biologically hardwired into women to want that shit it's biologically hardwired in you 
to want it. What's hardwired in a woman is to reject low grade males. And they have forgotten what it means to be low grade because they're under the illusion of fiat resources. They believe in shit like status, which ain't even real. Right? It's created. And to show you how much it was created, Kevin Samuels blew your channel up. You did, y'all didn't even blow your own channel up. Kevin Samuels blew your channel up and made y'all popular. And then these white folks that run YouTube compensated you for it after a while. So the idea of gaining social status is an illusion because y'all didn't even do it by yourself. Two different entities helped you become who you are. And then to sustain your popularity after Kevin Samuels blew you up, these girls who you need so desperately to be on your show so you can belittle them is what kept you afloat. If these girls stopped, your show would go down. And if YouTube stopped, it would go down. And that's the truth. And it's showing you right here. If women stopped chasing illusions and start looking at you for who you really are, a lot of y'all wouldn't get no play. A mate. No, no, that's, that's that, what it is. That's false. Because if that was someone, did I not just say a second ago? How many of you want to be single for the rest of your life? No one raised their hand. Well, you, don't, you even don't even know what it means to be single, sir. Single means being without any form of contact with humanity, right? Nobody said that a woman had to be on an island with no communication. These women need to be free in community. They don't have to be attached to a goddamn parasite. A parasite who wants to be obnoxious and abrasive. Let me tell you something. If anybody is going to be sad, depressed, and single or alone, is a woman that's in a, a relationship with a, a, an obnoxious and abrasive imbecile like you. That is when she'll be alone and depressed. But not amongst the community of women where she living out her true authentic self and enjoying her life, not thinking about your ass. Gonna go. How many of you want to be single for the rest of your life? No one raised their hand. Well, and you don't even raise your hand. No, I, I didn't raise my hand because I wasn't participating in your bullshit ass question. Right? Because I'm not. I'm not alone. I'm not single. Right? <laughs> right? At any given time, I could have company. I could have company at any given time. But by me being a queen and me being, I don't want people in my space like that. I like my goddamn alone time. I like my peace. Right. And at any time I want some pussy, I can get some. Because the last thing I want is some goddamn diseased motherfucking dick that ain't going to bring nothing but a fucking headache. Right. In your book, you said that women don't want men. That's what you said in your book. They don't want a majority most of men. men. Right, which the most most men by nature aren't supposed to get women. The majority of males are supposed to die virgins. That's biological. I mean, you do study biology, right? Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a lot of sense, right? Most men, but you talking to most men on your podcast, right? You you wrote your book for most men. What the hell are we even talking about? Right? This was, a, th th this was a special ed podcast that just so happened to get demonetized. It wasn't really offering no value anyway. Right? It wasn't offering nobody any value. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Like you're just, I mean, because like, that's how y'all talk about it. You're making no points here. No. He say I ain't making no points. I'm not making no points. I think I done made a bunch of points in here. Because I'm showing you y'all's logic is totally 
trashed. Your whole thought process is garbage. Nigga, you're talking to most men who ain't worth shit. Which is the reason why your podcast made any money because most men ain't worth shit. And you're capitalizing on them and and they and they worthlessness, right? Now you say this out your own mouth. That's most men. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Most men that you talking to high value, huh? Most men in your goddamn chat is high value, huh? J- this ain't nothing but a damn ego stroke, right? And they couldn't box with me up there. They could not fucking box with me up there. That's all y'all talk about is sex, 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 sex. Your whole book is about sex, 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 and not being able to get it. Uh, No, it's about not being a simp. (sighs) And simps are what? Motherfuckers that talk about not being able to get sex and doing anything to get it. The whole damn book was about men not being able to get sex. His whole damn Tom, Dick, and Harry go on a date and he and she stand him up. She don't give him no pussy after he done bought some damn food. This, this, this literally wasn't the damn book. It ain't no personal development. It ain't none of that. It's just a bitch whining, crying, and complaining book. Right. Your whole book is about sex, 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 and not being able to get it. Uh, no, it's about not being a simp. Yeah. I don't think you read it. You just yapping. No, I it is it. the struggle of a man in today's society. And not yeah. being a simp. Wait, 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 wait! It's the struggle of a man in today's society. And why is the man struggling? Cause he ain't getting no pussy. Right? Let Let's keep it a book. That's what the book is about. And so when they see me. They mad because they think I'm getting more pussy than them. Right? Let's keep it a buck. Right? I'm the lesbian cult leader, right? And the only, re- the only way I got the damn moniker as the lesbian cult leader is because they think I'm getting more pussy than them. So they sitting up here crying in a little simp book, How Not to Be a Simp, right? Because they mad because they can't be Prince Ella. Right? They mad because they can't be like Prince Ella. They wish they had a harem of women, right? Because all they see when they see the High Power Podcast is a harem of goddamn women that they wish they motherfuckers, wish they had. You got a whole bunch of goddamn incels, right? You got a bunch of dicks in your chat. You got a whole bunch of dicks in your chat, right? Because that's what it's about. And you're mad because I got a bunch of pussy in mine, right? And it's a bunch of people on YouTube mad because it's a bunch of pussy in my chat. (laughs) Yeah, they got that low value Peter Wacker. The low value Peter Wacker, right? And can't figure out. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is who got demonetized. I just want I just want y'all to see that who got demonetized. They won't ever do it, right? You mad. Even Myron says that his most important thing is sex. Right? He said this shit. I got to find the clip when he was talking to the girl. Talk about if you ain't giving me my most important thing, the thing I care about, which is my sexual gratification. Right? <laughs> right? But you're tripping on me when I said, well, that's what I'm trying to tell. Nigga, you need, you need to be worried about how you're going to get $600,000, $100,000 a month now. What you need to be trying to figure out is how the hell you going to come up with $100,000 a month. Okay? I don't know how the hell you're going to come up with it. I don't think YouTube give a fuck how you're going to come up with it. But however you come up, you might have to sell some dick, man. But based on based on the manosphere claims, women are born with value. We are born with no value. We have to build value. Well, your value just got knocked the fuck down. 
So I don't think your dick is worth that much. So I don't know how much you I don't know how much you gonna come out trying to sell that motherfucker to come up with a hundred thousand dollar a month to replace your income from YouTube. I don't know what the hell I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Girl, stop laughing at these folks. Get out. <laughs> stop laughing at these folks, okay? <laughs> it ain't that funny. <laughs> look, look, only fans. Who go, who gonna watch Myron on OnlyFans? Who who gonna watch Myron on OnlyFans? Right? Yeah, the, the manosphere the manosphere is crying. Baby, first it was Kevin Samuels going to the upper room. Kevin Samuels clocked out that bitch and went to the upper room. Then Austin Holloman got his ass kicked out of Brazil. <laughs> And now Fresh and Fit got their motherfucking channel de demonetized. The Divine Feminine is not playing with these motherfuckers. Divine Feminine is not playing with these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> oh man, listen to me. Let me show. Let me. Let me. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. O O'Shea Duke Jackson. Went over there to show you what Kevin, how Kevin Samuels built, uh, built fresh and fit. He showed how Kevin Samuels built fresh and fit. Fresh and fit. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Check this out. I know you guys think this episode is sort of a reach and that I'm using Kevin Samuels name for clout. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Kevin Samuels is not here to speak for himself today. So I want to vindicate a prophecy that he had back in April 2022 that Fresh and Fit would be demonetized. Now, now, demo? now, now I want to say something. Now, I want y'all to watch this. And pay attention to how a motherfucker character is not called into a question. A male's character is never called into question until he do something to another male. It don't matter how much a male dog lie, cheat, and, and, and do some wicked shit to a woman. It doesn't matter, but his, his character is will only be called into question when he do something to another dude that other people like. That's the only time that a motherfucker character is called into question. It's 2020, and Kevin Samuels, by that time, has already blown up. He's the truth on YouTube, and Fresh and Fit are just a struggling YouTube channel. If you don't believe me, Let's go to Social Blade when they started in 2020. September 2020, they have 2,700 subscribers. They have 1,650 subscribers, which means they have over 4,000. By the time November 2020 came, they have 2,010 subscribers. And then by the time Kevin Samuels comes, they have 5,200 subscribers, less than 15,000 subscribers. And if you want to go look at their views for those respective months, there's 130,000. There's 165,000, there's 210,000, and there's 349,000 views. Kevin Samuels is already who he is during that period of time, and he's catapulting, which is why they wanted him to come down to Miami. And the first ever episode that we saw with Kevin Samuels in Fresh and Fit aired December 12th, 2020. And the name of the episode was called Kevin Samuels explains high value, cold hard truth. If you don't believe me, let's take a listen. Women, maybe even older women, mm -hmm. as to how to lock down a high value man. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting 5,000 plus people watching you uh, asking these questions. What would be the one of the biggest takeaway tips you could give to women in the current dating marketplace to lock down a high value guy? Mm. 
Stop. Stop. Because only 10% of you are going to get it. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, Kevin Samuels was telling y'all to stop, right? Because only 10% of you going to get it. It ain't that you could not get a high value man if there was an abundance of them. But it ain't even 10% of a of women that would get a quote unquote high value man because the majority of them are not high value men and they don't exist. Kevin Samuels did not lie about that. The only thing is he didn't tell you the truth about why he didn't tell you the truth about why most men ain't high value, right? Because they asses are incapable. And most of these dudes was put in position through some other mechanism. They did not work to get to a place. The majority of them don't, right? And most males fail to exhibit the character traits that will catapult them to any high-level position, right? They don't have the character to be quote-unquote high value. So what you're looking for, what you're really looking for is a woman, because these character traits that you're looking for are the characteristics of a woman, right? So the reason why these dudes, they so retarded that they don't even realize that they insult themselves when they tell women that you became the man that you wanted. How the fuck does a woman become the man that she wanted when the male himself can't even become that? You know why? Because what you're saying are characteristics of a man are actually characteristics of a woman and men are struggling to be women. They can't fucking do it. So they got a million different goddamn excuses why they can't achieve nothing because what you're shooting to be is a fucking woman. And it's easy for a woman to get out here and become something if you release the obstacles and let her be, she would surpass the majority of you. Men are struggling to be women. That's why you can't find a high value man. Because a high value man would match you. He would match you. And if you let a woman, if you let a woman elevate and do her thing, she would surpass the majority of men. The majority. So he just didn't tell you the truth about why you couldn't get now. Because it ain't now because they can't they ain't capable of being that. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I look one of the biggest 20 uh, percent of you can qualify for it. Maybe 10 percent of you will land it and that's really what my show is based on. You can, I, I don't begrudge you wanting what you want, but are you an eight, nine, and 10? Well, actually an adjustable six, eight or nine in the looks. And are you an eight, nine or 10 in the body? If not, move along. Move along. Um, <laughs> this is because a quote unquote high value man ain't nothing but a high value trick. He ain't, he's looking for accessories he's not looking for a person of value because value likes value and when you are a value a person of value is a person who becomes um some somebody that offers something to society that's what it means to be a value so any dude that's evaluating a woman and saying that she's valuable based on how she looks he's not looking at her as a value piece and he himself is not a value piece he is a high value trick he's a trick because valuable people associate with valuable people and they give back to the world with some talent with some uh purpose that benefits society so a man that don't want a woman who's also do, living her purpose to benefit society, he himself is not of value. That's why you that's why you saw 
uh, Jeff Bezos get the woman he got. He didn't go get no fucking, uh, no inanimate object, no trophy piece, right? The, the, the black male has a degenerate, limited mentality. And their highest goal is fucking. So th- because they have l- really bad ego issues, they need external things to validate them. Money, cars, clothes, women, all of this to fuel their weak ass egos. <laughs> so at that particular point, Fresh and Fit were begging Kevin Samuels to come back on. And he thought these were some young guys, so he kept doing it. And I want you to also look at this particular clip called Kevin Samuels Goes One-on-One with Career Woman Amanda. And this episode here got 3.3 million views. Let's play an excerpt of that. Janina, okay, one of the things I kept hearing, my name is Kevin Samuels, by the way, nice to meet you. One of the things I kept hearing is the notion of fairness, fairness, fairness. Why is that so important to you, Amanda? I hate to admit it, but I do. Like, I'm half a man. I'm just a pretty girl. And I don't think that I should have to accept less in life because I was born with different equipment. I think that's bullshit. And you would be right. You would be right, Amanda. Right? You don't have to accept less. Now, what does Kevin say? What does Kevin say to her? Well, if you're half a man, then you should understand this full concept that men don't care about fair. Men don't care about fair. Listen. Men don't care about fair. Listen to what he says as his explanation to justify if men cared about fairness, then what? I don't have to care about fair either. You no, no, what? no. Men don't care about fair or else we wouldn't yeah. conquer other people. Or else we wouldn't conquer other people. So the male does not care about fairness. Not in territory and not in relationships either. So when it comes to what a man wants... It's all about him because he don't care about fairness. And you take you wherever you go. And so like in the military, they tell you the way you tie your shoes, the way you make your bed, you take, you take those behaviors in everything you do. Leadership is in everything you do. So if you, if you, if you, Dress yourself fucked up. If you half-ass make your bed, if you if you half-ass sign your shoe, this is how you are in the world, baby. That thought process that we don't care about fairness, baby, that is in everything. That's in relationships. That's in business. That's in friendships. That's in everything. And he just told you who men are. Men don't care about fairness. And guess what? Myron, since that's who you are and since men built the world, sir, (laughs) right? And the men built the YouTube that you ain't a partner with no more. They don't give a damn about no fairness. And don't nobody give a damn about you crying. Because you you had every opportunity to correct your behavior and you didn't. Right? Cause this is this is this 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 how y'all are, this how y'all are, right? Now, by the time Kevin Samuels came on, from December to March, Kevin Samuels helped Fresh and Fit accumulate in that month thirty-two thousand four hundred subscribers. The next month, sixty-nine thousand subscribers. The next month after that, ninety-four thousand subscribers. What am I trying to say here? Kevin Samuels gave birth to Fresh and Fit. Without Kevin Samuels, they could have reached that success, but it would have taken them a long time. Let's look at some of the numbers before then. In January, they had 460,000 views. In February, 421,000 views. In March, 2.4 million views the month Kevin came. 
after that 6.8 million views and then in may 15.75 million so y'all didn't even build your own damn channel we built the world no 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 no. ain't no we in this kevin built you youtube rewarded you and helped let you stay on a platform and the women sustained you after kevin samuels passed you dependent uh, you you solely dependent on the women who were on your show to carry that show because y'all couldn't do it by yourself you could not run this show by yourself you didn't even build it by yourself and then after kevin helped you build the damn show what you do to kevin what did you do to Kevin who got you attention? With many more collaborations, at least on StreamYard or Zoom with Kevin Samuels. But how did they repay Kevin? They tried to compete with Kevin for his own audience. By doing what? Let's let Donovan Sharp tell it all. It, the way the way things started, and I don't think anybody, I don't know, you guys may have heard other versions of this, but I'm going to tell you the 100% truth because I am very, very good friends with the both of them, right? Kevin and Myron are two of my very best friends. Kevin was one of my very best friends. And so <clears throat> Kevin had just, Kevin had blown up. He'd gone viral on World Star Hip Hop a couple times. Then, of course, he was two, 300,000 subscribers. He was on his way up. Then uh, Fresh and Fit also hit the also hit the algorithm and they started to grow. Well, Fresh and Fit had been doing Fresh and Fit After Hours at the same time Kevin was doing his show. Neither Kevin never had a problem with it until Kevin felt that uh, Myron and Fresh's live streams were infringing on his audience. He said to me, Donovan, that is my time slot he said this to me he said that is my time slot i said kevin i said you're one of my best friends you don't own any time slots okay people can live stream whenever they want to live stream number one number two number two myron and fresh have been doing fresh and fit after hours probably longer than you've done your late night show so it, 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 it just, it, it became, now listen, I don't know what Kevin's motivations were. I'm not gonna pretend to know because he didn't tell me. You see, Donovan Sharp's argument is that Fresh and Fit had an after hour show before Kevin Samuels. And that I really can't prove because I can't go back that far for the information and looking through playlists. But the reality is that they had no audience. You understand? So the beef between Kevin and Fresh and Fit partly did revolve around the fact that Fresh and Fit were trying to impede on his audience when they had no audience, but because of Kevin. But that was one thing. That wasn't the main thing that Kevin was concerned with. What Kevin was concerned with was the fact that Fresh and Fit went behind his back, especially Myron, and called the man a homosexual. Now, hold on, wait a minute. Dudes can do all kind of shit to women and their character is never questioned. Their character is never questioned until they do something to a male that other people like. You only disloyal. You only a bitch ass nigga when you fuck over another dude. But the rules don't apply when you fuck over women. Hmm. We could see the character of a motherfucker based on how they treat people in general. If you treat somebody, regardless of their gender, a different way, just because, baby, that then showed you everything that you need to know about a person. Period. Because your ethics and your morals 
should not change based on sex. But it does for a lot of dudes. So if you're willing to do a woman like that, you're willing to do a man like that too. Because they had this beef. Now, I'm going to play a clip where Myron absolutely is going to admit that there is a problem. There was a problem between him and Kevin Samuels. Yeah, and, and, and seeing that stuff, because, I mean, guys, it's no secret. Like, you know, me, me and Kevin had some disagreements in the past and everything else like that. But I'm never going to say anything negative about that man's legacy. And seeing all these, like, crazy ass, like, chicks that are mad, you know, that felt some type of way trying to tarnish his name and everything like that. I was like, fuck these dumb ass bitches, you know? Like, are, are you fucking serious? Like, if any, if the roles were reversed and one of them passed away, none of us would make a hit piece making fun of them. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Like, we wouldn't. And I know Kevin wouldn't either. So this was something I found out right during the I've Been Preach beef with Fresh and Fit in 2022. So there was definitely an issue here. But the biggest issue was that Fresh and Fit behind Kevin Samuels' back had called not only him a homosexual, but that made disparaging remarks against Abba and Preach, which is why the reason Abba and Preach went Now, my question is, how you gonna sit up here and call somebody a homosexual? How the hell you gonna call somebody a homosexual and you got pictures with you laying in the bed with your shirt off with a white boy? You got a picture hugged up on a white boy, him kissing you on the cheek and shit, right? How the hell you gonna call somebody a homosexual? What... What made you call him a homosexual? I t that's that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. You, is it something that you're not saying, right? Was this a, was this an attempt to say I'ma get you before you get me? I'ma get you before you get me. I'ma spill the beans on you before you spill the beans on me. Is that what that was about? Cause that what it looked like to me. I could be wrong. I'm not God. I'm not 100% right. But shit. For the shit that I choose to talk about, I'm damn near there. After fresh and fit. But what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Well, you see, fresh and fit had a live stream just like Kevin. And one of the things that Kevin said that he was afraid of about live streams was that somebody could come up on the screen his screen or anybody else's screen get naked and then the channel will be demonetized, something like that. And that actually happened to the Lapeef Network sometime before, uh, after he passed. So that's something that we know can happen on YouTube. But what did Kevin Samuel say? He said, listen, O'Shea, Fresh and Fit don't have to lose their YouTube channel. All they got to do is demonetize them. That's all needs to happen. And I kind of listened to what Kevin was talking about because some of the things that Kevin predicted didn't come true, but this was right on the money. And we know that because of this begging from Fresh and Fit here. Yeah, yeah. And, and my thing is, guys, um, more than ever, <laughs> real talk, more than ever, I know a lot of you guys send me messages, and I, trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them. And as a matter of fact, I saved them too because I sent some of them to Fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMs and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is, right? Um, that really means a lot to us, right? We've helped a lot of you guys um, from killing yourselves, from injuring yourself, from making a really bad decision or doing something that, that you can't um, necessarily take back. What I'm asking you guys is just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. Whoa, 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 Run that back. Hold on. You built the world. Hold on, God damn it. You built the world. And when you build something and it get towed down, you just go build it again. Now, ants, ant colonies are run by females. Ants. All ants female. And they build the colony. And if they build an ant bed in a place that you don't want it in your house, on your step. You destroy the ant bed. You might put some bleach in it. The ants ain't going to sit up here and whine and cry and ask nobody to help them. They going to go build 
another damn ant bed. My question to you is, why in the hell is you out here begging for change? Why are you out here, right? Holding a sign up talking about we'll work for food on YouTube. What? We need you guys to support us on Rumble because that's the last bastion of free speech at this point. Yeah. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit Guys. Like, you need to go on there right now, follow the channel, subscribe. It's five bucks a month. Whoa, 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 whoa. Subscribe. Please go over there and help us because I helped you get your girl to make a sandwich. Please, we need y'all to help us. Come save us. Go to Rumble and subscribe. $5 a month. Dude, you do better if you just go make an OnlyFans. You'll do better if you just make an OnlyFans. Because I saw your hoochie daddy shorts. It looked like you got a little something in there. I don't know how much. But you could do something with it. You could jiggle it here and there. I think somebody will pay you for it. They might pay you $5. I think it's worth... I, I think... I think your OnlyFans is worth more five dollars than you talking this shit on you on, on Rumble, right? I pay you five dollars to see you jump up and down and jiggle it and jiggle your little uh elephant trunk. Right? Right? I, 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 yeah, I got a girlfriend and shit, but I still look at you <laughs> I still look at your elephant trunk swinging here and there. <laughs> I pay you five dollars. <laughs> I might even give you a tip. I might give you two dollar tip. Give you seven dollars. <laughs> Hello. Go back. Yeah. Rumble.com slash fresh fit guys. Like you need to go on there right now. Follow the channel. Subscribe. It's five bucks a month. Because if you guys want us to keep making this content, that that's what it's gonna be. And I and we've worked really hard to like try to like Keep it. He thinking. He thinking about how he gonna pay them bills. That motherfucker. Uh, I bet he up the. I bet he got dead up to the neck. <laughs> Look, they didn't cut they motherfucking shit all the way down to five dollars. <laughs> it's free as clear. long as possible, man. On YouTube, like you guys know this. Like, yeah. we don't sit here and pitch courses to y'all every month. We're not always, you know, trying to take money from y'all. When you guys super chat, it's just uh um Look, hey, look, he trying to guilt them. We listen, he trying to guilt the ass. Look, we don't be begging y'all for nothing. We don't be selling y'all no courses. We really, really care about y'all. You, you you know, so since we done did all this stuff for you and we done bashed all these women and we done talk we done showed you how much we don't like niggers, right? <laughs> right? Because we racist and we didn't put you niggas in our book. <laughs> Please go over there and give up five dollars for our shit so we can keep talking shit, right? <laughs> you better go out there and sell some Wayne Wayne. You better get the jumping in the mooch your daddy shorts. <laughs> it's you guys showing support to the show. It engages the show. And we, like, for real, if we've impacted your life, and we've saved it. Hey, we going to cry. He's going to cry. Oh, this nigga going to cry. <laughs> save us now. You see, the reason hey, wait, why... Wait, 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 wait. He say, save us now. Wait a minute, goddammit. You built the world. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. He said, listen. He says, save us. Listen to me. He says, save us. But y'all built the goddamn world, huh? Two bad D bitches, right? That y'all don't need, that ain't worth shit, that you can disrespect. They ain't gonna save you. Y'all better not go over there unless they jumping up and down in some hoochie daddy shorts. You better not go over there and pay them no damn money. And we've saved it. We need you guys to save us now. You see, the reason why I'm giving all these receipts today, I want to vindicate a brother that's not here to vindicate him. I, I ain't caring about no vindication. I just want you to see how they do each other, <laughs> right? I just want you to see how they do each other, right? Now, don't, don't, don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. I didn't do nothing. 
I did not do this. I did not get them demonetized. I'm just reporting on the news. I'm just reporting on the damn news. I didn't do nothing. Hmm? <laughs> right? 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 31, 37 year old auntie, right? Handle ass on their own show. Rest in the femininity and show them better than you could tell them, right? Why, why, why they upset? So let me show you. I want, I want y'all to see the type of relationships. Y'all need to stop getting in relationships with these dudes. Let they ass date each other. Let me tell you why they should date each other. You heard him say, you heard him say, I don't want to date nobody like myself. Obnoxious and abrasive. They like that shit. They like conflict. So let me show you the type of relationship that they need to be in. Okay. This is good. Y'all going to like this one. Y'all going to like this because I liked it when I, when I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah, this why these niggas need to be gay. <laughs> Bitch, you talking about me, talking about me having a bunch of pussy. Y'all need to like each other too, shit. Because let me show you, y'all thrive in shit like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you thrive in shit like this. See, they, they, they like conflict. Okay, here it is. Check this out. What what marriage life? What what marriage life was like for you? It was good. Okay. Husband just was real, 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 real jealous, and I'm just not gonna say a lot about it. But he was really, 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 really jealous, and kind of regret it. But we're good in marriage because he's really 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 jealous like like you, it's like he he didn't know who he married mm -hmm. you know you married somebody that people love and he loved me so much he, he don't want me speaking to nobody um okay i gotta stop it right there he loved me so much that he don't want me speaking to nobody. This is the reason why you need to come to my Love Men and Manipulation Decoded workshop. Because y'all asses really don't know what the fuck love is. You, y'all associate love with, the, with stupid shit. Like a person controlling you and possessing you, right? He loved me so much that he didn't want me speaking to nobody. No. No, that's not love. But uh, it's too many people who think that it is, right? But anyway, let's let's continue. Um, you know. Oh, by the way, this the dude that was gonna marry the chick. You see him up there at the top, and then he bailed on her and went and married some dude, right? Y'all remember when that went viral? That's him. <laughs> like. He think I'm doing something when I'm not doing nothing. So in, insecurities. And, and I, I'm just not used to that, so. I know on live, one time you was, what, y'all fussing, go through your phone or something like that? Yeah, once want to go through my phone. I don't go through his. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that's insecurity. So, I, you know, I, I let a man be a man. And he get mad, he stay gone three days. Guess what I do? I stay gone three days. Mm -hmm. I, he get, I, he come back, I ask him, where you been? I'm grown. I'm grown too. So whatever you did, I was doing. And I think I was doing it better. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga go crazy over that sound. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Girl, you cannot compete. Girl, you, you cannot compete with that. Don't even try. Let they ass have each other. Look, let what, let's, let's what his ass say after this. Thank you. Ain't no dick should be in your mouth over three minutes. You're not a good dick sucker. Bitch. You pick me's. You pick me's. Let me tell you something. I know you like that motherfucking eggplant. I know you like that goddamn eggplant parmesan. Remember, I call it eggplant parmesan because we got a thing called dick cheese. 
And a lot of these motherfuckers that ain't got circumcised, they got dick cheese in their motherfucking eggplant. And so that's that that's what we call eggplant parmesan over here. And some of you goddamn pick me's love that motherfucking eggplant parmesan. But bitch, if you got eggplant parmesan in your mouth longer than three minutes, you don't know what the fuck you doing. <laughs> right? And guess what? <laughs> <laughs> if you got my book, 41 Shades of Men, <laughs> that motherfucking DL man, right? <laughs> he let you know. <laughs> he let you know where he going to go get it from, right? He going to let you know where he going to get it from. Hey, you can't say they don't exist because this nigga was finna marry a woman. <laughs> and on their wedding day, he bailed on her ass and went and married a dude. And she didn't find out. <laughs> But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> That's why these niggas going crazy over me. <laughs> That's why these so, niggas uh, going crazy like, over me. All right. We seen like what happened like with you, with the situation after that. I know. Like, can you break down what happened that night or who what? You know, you going to jail. I had a birthday party. Okay. On my birthday. Um, I got to the birthday party. I had guy friends there. He had friends there, and um, I was looking too good, getting too much attention, and he started to get jealous. Mm -hmm. and, and and then, no lie, I started to get a little disrespectful because they, they had other guys there that liked me, and me and I just got back together. We hadn't even been back together a week. So I was talking to other guys already, and those guys had showed up there, and one of his exes showed up at my party. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, get, I didn't get mad because I, I know I'm the gift and the prize. So I had a good time. I was twisting and twirling around. And he got jealous with those boys were there. And he left me and told me, find me a way home. And my car, he left me in my car. You don't leave a in their car. <laughs> Clarence kicked in. Mm -hmm. So I pulled up, I put, I put did, my tie. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that voice change? That nigga went from sassy to Clarence kicked in. I, I, shape, talk about a damn shapeshifter. <laughs> the, the, this, <laughs> these suckers here confuse you, baby. They confuse you, baby. Listen to me. <laughs> Clarence kicked in. And so listen, I need y'all to hear the story. The dude is jealous and he didn't took off in his car. So listen to this toxic ass shit. They, they like this. This is why. This why they ass need to be together. Because they, they like to fight each other. <laughs> listen. I don't pass. My car that he was driving. Yeah. Oh, he buy a car. So I'm not going to say like he broke. He got money. He do, he do it. But that car is for us. For us. So I feel like you left me because he was mad. Because I, I, I read us had an argument. Right? But he left me. And I and I and I went I went to we fought for about 45 minutes out on the concrete. Um, I got bite marks right here. Big big bite mark. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's bite mark. So what that mean when they bite you? Right here. You getting the best? Yeah, bite bit me right here. Had to get stitches on my hands. Yeah, so um, but he punched me in the eye. He did. And I end up that that punch he gave me it wasn't it wasn't a love lick. I felt it. So when I felt it, he had to feel it. <laughs> so we trauma that night. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I just bust him in the head with something or hit him with something. It was self defense. Listen, ladies, stay out the goddamn relationship. You hear how he telling this story? He he bit me. And he punched me in the eye, so we fought. I put my tire, I put my tires on flat when he drove off in my car, <laughs> and we fought. And since since that wasn't no love lick, and I felt it, he had to feel it too. And they were fighting. And listen, how he telling the story? It's like he getting off. <laughs> These nigga like to fight you in these relationships. Let them fight each other. <laughs> Get the hell out the way. Let they ass fight each other. This shit turn they ass on. Listen to him. <laughs> he did me something. He hit me first. I was defending myself. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
then when when you went to jail, like you stayed in there longer than what I thought so was. Well, well, because because everybody get a, everybody who go to jail for those the charges that I got get a bond. Yeah. But but since I'm so famous, they didn't give me a bond. Mm-hmm. Um, they 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 held me because I had several other domestic charges for him. Listen. They got they held his ass cause they got several other domestic charges. <laughs> Them niggas like fighting. <laughs> and and it turned their ass on. They they thrive in toxicity. <laughs> and and other people. So it was so she told me to do sixty days. And, when, and I asked her would I get out in sixty days? And she told me she didn't know she think about it. So I ended up being a lawyer. And, if he, and I ended up paying lawyer, like, lawyer got the business clear, praise God, everything is dropped. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mention his name, I don't talk bad about him. I don't discuss him, I pray that God bless him with the best partner ever, but it's not gonna be me. So you say that's done, like do you see yourself getting married again? I don't know, I don't know. This, this, this was not the best marriage, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. So you were married before or this was the only time? The only time. Oh, okay. Well, you can live the only time. Um, the- it depends on if I fall in love with some pussy, if I fall in love with some dick. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends. It depends if I fall in love with some pussy, if I fall in love with some dick. <laughs> now, which one of you? Which one of you going to fall in love with him? <laughs> Yeah, but I like classic women. Like my woman got to be classy. I like a, a he alone. A nice long hair, classy. Yeah. You know, can hold her own. I don't want no wear tennis shoes and Jordans and goals in their mouth. Nah, hell. No. You know, hard, hard face. Mm-hmm. I, I did. Hard, he say he don't want no hard face, bitch. Now, why did they bleep that out? Listen, they bleep that out, but told, let him say. <laughs> Don't matter if I, it depend on if I fall in love with some pussy, if I fall in love with some dick. They didn't bleep that out, but they bleeped that bitch. <laughs> but he don't want no hard face, bitch. He wants somebody in heels. Classy woman, right? <laughs> Classy. Your face looks soft. But you want to kiss. I want to look like me at nighttime, rougher than me. I don't like no girl like the curse. Like every time she open her mouth, ooh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I, I don't like no girl that 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 roll blunts. I think boys are supposed to roll blunts. Mm-hmm. A woman that smoke weed all day, that that's not attractive for a woman. A, a man can drink and smoke, but before a woman roll the blunts and drinking and and, and and that's not my caliber of a woman. Yeah, I want a woman. I want he, he he want he want a high class woman, right? <laughs> He 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 like he like him he like him high class right he like a he like a little dick on the side <laughs> he like a little, hey look baby <laughs> this the this the new age <laughs> which one of y'all want which one of y'all want y'all pick who want to participate let me know <laughs> the whole house down she, they can't do what a man do mm-hmm. but they do it now that they do want to three and four niggas now. The men do it, so why they pH balance off? Woo! Listen, he just told you why you most he, he just, men benefit. He, he just told you why your pH balance is off, right? Cause you want to be with multiple men, right? You want multiple men running up into you because you think you can do what men do, right? You think you can? Why would you want to after you listen to me? It's beyond me, right? Why would you want to do that after? Tell me something. Here, let me. Ending on that note, let me go ahead. Let me let y'all uh, see what you need to 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 cleanse all of them dudes that you wanna let run through you out. Yeast infection, BV, pH imbalance. We all have our moments. I have a secret. Step into my office. I'm addicted to the cartel, Kitty Cartel by Millennial Naturals. Their flagship product, Kitty Crack Feminine Wash, is plant-based, cruelty-free, and pH balancing. This wash will literally keep your intimate area fresh and moisturized all day. 
Kitty Coke Bath Soak is a unique non-foaming bath milk to soothe, repair, and intensely hydrate your intimate area. It also de-stresses you and offers pain and itch relief. This smells so good and intoxicating. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm officially cartel babe, and so should you. What are you waiting for? Visit www.millennialnaturals.com and remember, clean kitty matters. Right, that was perfect. Get you some kitty cartel. Listen, I know we had a good show tonight, right? That was that was spectacular. Look, I'm gonna take five calls. Tell call me and let me know what you think, right? Te do you think it was justified for them to be uh demonetized? Do you think do you think YouTube made the right decision, right? You think I'm wrong for saying what I said tonight? Huh? 832-627-6575. Holler at me if you hear me. <laughs> Holler at me. Do, 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 do. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and holler at, holler at my super chatters. Yep. Let me call out my super chats while we wait on somebody to call me. We, I'm not going to keep y'all all night tonight. Five calls. We got one. We got one. Up. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Super chats we got tonight. Okay. We got some good participants tonight. Uh, Evelyn Hayes, $10. Zenobia Session, $10. Keep hitting them, Princella. Long live the queen. Yes, indeed. Catalia, $12.87, $50. I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you for staying true and giving us facts to truly see and hear despite facing opposition. Thank you for changing lives for the better. Your determination and conviction is truly inspiring. Uh, love you always. Jazzy Can Vibe, five dollars. J uh, C Jecky, five dollars. The community is every. This community is everything. Zahara Greenwich, ten dollars. Let's address the new hair on fit. <laughs> Zero tolerance, twenty dollars. The divine feminine will not be denied. Voice of reason, ten dollars. The past. Hey Pastor P. Hey Mods. Hey Chat. Carmen Hudson, twenty dollars. We on Lock Nation, ten dollars. Voice of Reason, ten dollars. This fool claims to need money because they employ twenty people. Laughing Unknown out loud. Unknown caller. <clears throat> it takes twenty people to book OnlyFans models. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Pathetic. Galveston Mermaid, two dollars. Miss Action Jackson, two dollars. You gotta pay, and you can't even play. <clears throat> Dre Mose, five dollars. Dre Mose, ten dollars. I'm ready to learn and be a student. Thank you, Queen. Uh, two gnarly, ten dollars. One love. Stay blessed, ladies. Facts and snacks official, twenty dollars. Whoo, child! It's about time, cause listening to those two was deleting my brain cells at a rapid rate. Drag them dogs. <laughs> Lisa Virgo, five dollars. Oma, twenty dollars. Queen Nomata, uh, uh, Nomatama. Ten dollars. Priscilla, you're so beautiful. I hope you like thick whipping. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it all depends on it, it all depends on your character. That's what matter more. Bella Vega, ten dollars. To the woman who actually built the world and the platform on no one's back but her own. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, let's answer some calls now. Damn, them calls come in fast too. Hello? Hello? Can you turn your TV down? Yeah, turn the computer down. Mm -hmm. yeah. How you doing? Who am I speaking with? This is Zenobia Session. 
How you doing? Thanks for calling. What you got for me tonight? Thank you. I have just enjoyed you so much. You know, I just wanted to say that um, you gave me a different perspective. I'm 52 and I'm, a, I'm an old girl, but uh, I've been through uh, some things in my life. You know, I had a narcissist first and then uh, hearing what you said, it really opened my eyes. I got a man boy mm -hmm. that won't leave home. I got a husband that um, he 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 left in his in his behavior. Drinking was his problem. I sent you an email, and I I, I type back a long story. I know it's a lot of emails for you to read. But if you can think to find it, then I tell you kind of in length my my story how it happened. And so in 2021, I had a stroke, uh, and I uh, in the email I told you exactly how it happened, but. Uh, drinking took him away into the streets with his uh, friends and I couldn't understand I said the second time I wasn't going to let a man you know just emotionally take me down you know what I'm saying I wasn't going to be in that kind of love anymore you know but I did because he's like you know he's a sweet guy but still until you explained all of the things that I needed to see I didn't I, I just you know what I'm saying I just thought this is my you know my fate and so now he's got to take care of me uh, but it's like you didn't want to coach it in when I tried to give it to you now you can't have it and I can't have it but that seems me fine but I told him the other day I said after you I'm gonna be gay I said now I'm having a hard time with that kitty but uh <laughs> I don't find a way <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got it I, I know I I bad kid can be, but I'm just saying. I said I'm fine. But I told him he just looked at me. I said I'm going gay the next time after you. I ain't, uh uh. So, but anyway, I just appreciate you so much, and I just want my daughter to know and understand. I sent her your videos and things, but she's in one of those situations where she got a, a, a what is it, a hobo section, mm -hmm. uh. A uh, down low man and a and a, a jailbird all wrapped up in one. They're twenty two, just done, young, and done. Mm. So it, it's just a lot. But I appreciate you so much, and uh, long live the queen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate your call. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Down the way that's hello hello can you turn your tv down yeah i turned it down i believe they deserve to get monetized all right they were saying a lot of stuff that didn't make sense anyway and they were leading the young men into a horrible path mm -hmm. and yeah that's like i didn't know like i don't understand how people could fall for their lies i think you did great on a debate when you went up there mm -hmm. he didn't want to hear it i don't know how you kept your sanity for that long like oh my gosh Priscilla, you were staying strong i don't know how you dealt with that oh it's easy so, when you it's easy when you playing with kids <laughs> yeah like when you was just replaying it back and he said oh you didn't make no point like everything he was doing like he like i think chris wanted to kick you off and he stopped Chris. He was like, no, because people were about to go and make fun of him if he kicked you off. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he, he really couldn't, so he had to stay there. So I think he was just, like, um, trying to spread propaganda to his audience, like, oh, she's not saying nothing. She didn't read the book. That's not what the book is about. Like, bro, you know the book. Oh, my God. Absolutely. They're just so embarrassing. They shouldn't even, they should have just got banned. Like, what? It's bullshit content. And, like, me, they just making, like, 1.3 million a year for that bullshit that's crazy <laughs> well you know all good things do all parties come to an end right <laughs> Thank, well, yes. I appreciate your call thank you so much you're welcome I appreciate you calling me all back right. have a good day you too Bye -bye. so tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999 I think I just got off that line. I just I just called that phone. I 
I got to read my cash apps too. Okay. Hello. Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? This is Stars. No, I can't hear you. Oh, hold on. Let me take off my... If y'all haven't liked the show, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Make sure that the the likes can get up as high as the, the eyes, because I know I just hit y'all with a good show tonight. I just hit you with Definitely. a good show. Huh? Oh, I said definitely. It's a celebration, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. What you got for me tonight? It was just the speed of which the universe came in, and like the timing of you being there, and like literally just a few short months later, it's over for them. That's crazy, but it's not crazy at all. Mm -hmm. It'd be like that sometimes. Um, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, that was yeah. The same thing happened with Kevin Samuels. He was talking very wild, and then all of a sudden, but oh, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, everyone needs to wake up and smell the unscientific fruity and the, and the fully scientific truth coffee. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank May you. May I um, Go ahead. Um, how did you, like, tap into this highest frequency to this level? Because this is, I've never heard anything like this before in my life. Well, this this was a journey. This is a long journey, you know, a long journey of paying attention, self reflection, and and thinking, right? So, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's a lot of work that goes into it. But I teach I teach people how to do this. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever heard of uh, Claire Patterson? No. Claire Patterson was a um. Basically, he was like a geochemist in the nineteen six in the nineteen sixties, uh -huh. and he's the one who realized the grave threat of lead contamination. Uh huh. So he would look around, and he would just see like all of this literal poison entering the atmosphere into people's bodies. It was on everything and everyone, mm -hmm. and um, I kind of feel like you're like the modern day Claire Patterson. <laughs> But so much greater. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, and the pygmies would be like the marketers that was selling like the lead gasoline, mm -hmm. but they're worse because they don't make a profit. They just, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, um, but no, I, I really appreciate this live. It, it you really pointed out the fact that it the time for these these males and their ideologies. It's time for it to come to an end. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so That's much. That's all. <laughs> you have a wonderful night. You too. Bye bye. I'm gonna take two more calls and then I'm gonna read my cash apps and I'm gonna let y'all go for the rest of the night. Please leave your message for Hello. Hello. Hi, how, how you doing? doing? Hi, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for calling back. I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. Yes, <laughs> There's so many people online. First of all, just let me thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do and I'm an immigrant I live here for almost 20 years I'm from Russia actually mm -hmm. but the work that you do the work that you say the research that you have done everything that you have lived you know through and how you put it all the way you put it all online it is such a resonating such a heart touching and life changing material I just want to thank you first of all from the bottom of my heart Thank you have no idea like the, the impact that it that it makes uh, on people and um as far as the, the question or the subject why you you know when i hear the input from your callers today i think that um it is completely justified 
for a couple of reasons. Uh, reason number one, I think, is because they did break the um, the YouTube ruling regulations, right? The, the code of conduct, and they have been inviting people that were not allowed to be invited. They have been conducting themselves, but from the simple humanistic human point of view, the negative impact that they've had on I don't know hundreds, thousands, maybe like tens of thousands of women that young women mm -hmm. you know, that have watched and have listened to that, especially if they were going through a difficult time in their life, if they hadn't had a strong, you know, father figure, if their mom didn't teach them the way she should have, if something terrible happened to them. And, you know, life isn't easy for everybody. And God forbid, like, a huge amount of women, you know, listen to that, and there is not another alternative. Just the impact of that message that is completely downgrading, it's dehumanizing for a woman. And so that impact that they would have had, like, they've, they've been impacting, but the overall impact if they were continue to do this kind of work, I think it would have been, it would have been tragic for, for all, you know, for all women. And it's not, I, I promise you, it's not only for women in the United States, it's all over the world. Because like I said, I'm not from here, but women from all over the world listen to that. And then, thank God, there is also, <laughs> there is also you, and thank God, like, people like you come up once in a while on YouTube feed and finally give you like relief and you know come the heart and just give you the sanity to just even get up and start dealing with all this world so like th this is my this is my um, I guess opinion about that as far as they were supposed or not supposed to be you know um, demonetized but I want to I want to, one more time, I like, thank you, and I want to commend you on how well you handle this kind of behavior, yeah, this kind of hissy fits. And I also want to commend you and tell you I respect you so much for the diversity of people that you interview, diversity of people that you communicate with, um, and how well you find this common language, common ground, or find your own position, find a way to handle the situation, find a way to stand up for yourself, for the truth, for the, you know, for the whole point of the conversation. So thank you so much again for everything. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Fantastic. I'll be looking forward to your future videos. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hello? Hello, Princella speaking. Hi. Um, this is Stella. I actually called like last week ish. Um, and I thought and I guess last time I was a little discombobulated. Mm -hmm. Um, but this time I thought more about what I wanted to say. Yes, ma'am. Um and this time and uh so basically last time, um, you gave me the advice to like decenter males in my life like as much as possible mm -hmm. and I was thinking about that and I wasn't sure why I was thinking about so much because I thought I was already doing that but then today I realized that like because I have a little brother right he's nine years old mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking about how like my parents and like my family like condition like like impacted the relationship I have with my little brother versus the relationship that I have with my little sister mm -hmm. and just thinking about that was really disturbing to me because like with my little sister we used to fight all the time and like I was really nasty to her mm -hmm. but like the moment my little brother was born I just started like putting aside everything that I wanted for like everything that he wanted and part of that is that he's like younger and I was older at that point but I also think that part of it was just like I just wasn't, I was taught to prioritize him over myself, and, like, it's kind of hard, because, like, he is my little brother, and I love him, but also, like, I think about, like, the way that, like, me sacrificing the things that I want to give him everything that he wants isn't just hurting me, it's hurting him, too, because he's gonna grow up and be an entitled little shit, you know, so it's like, what do I, like, that was, that was a really weird realization, right, um, because I had already, like, I had already, like, stopped prioritizing, like, my dad and and like my like and like mo like honestly like just the family around me because i was really stretching myself thin to just like try and like keep everyone appeased and happy mm -hmm. um but 
I didn't realize how much I was like prioritizing my little brother and like all of my decision making and like everything until like just recently and I was like wow that's really messed up so it's like how do I how do I go about dealing with that um yeah okay so mothers of sons have that same issue with prioritizing their sons and coddling them as his sister you don't want to do that he needs he needs to be able to do things on his own so um i know he's young now but as he gets older he needs to clean his own room he needs to go get his own stuff out of the fridge he needs to do that because if you keep doing it which you've already said he is going to grow up to be entitled because his his y- y- y'all's mother's probably going to do it and then you're doing it he's going to expect everybody out in the world to do it and it's just not going to be that way especially um with the times changing it the way they are women are not going to be catering to to men the way they are um they well, the way they have been in the next 20 years it's just not going to happen yeah um thank you um i guess it's just it's really it's really nice to have like someone articulate this better than i can because I always kind of had, like, a sense of what you were saying, mm-hmm. but I had no idea, like, how to express it. Or, and also, like, there was, like, there was, like, the whole thing where it's, like, oh, you're just a man-hating lesbian. And, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and it's, like, just, it's, it's a whole thing. And it's, like, I don't know, when you're a kid, it's, like, well, maybe they're right. I mean, they've lived longer than I have, but, you know, you, as far, you seem pretty heckin' wise as far as adults go. So, yes. um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's one thing and then also uh just like one more thing this may or may not be easier than the last question because mm-hmm. i was watching one of your old streams this morning while i was cleaning my room because y- you like y- like you just like make time go faster and make things easier like i like hearing you speak um so i was listening to uh, one of your, your old streams and um i can't remember exactly which one it was but i it made me think about how because I, you talked. I saw you talk about a whole lot about like the difference between like how black women and white women uphold patriarchy, mm-hmm. and I was wondering how that power structure that you were talking about like creates the differences between black men and white men. Okay, so um, and so you have to understand that patriarchy or any even if it wasn't quote unquote patriarchy, whether it's a matriarchy or a patriarchy, when it comes to men. They don't really focus on the women. It's really a competition between them over the territory of women because women are nature's resources. So they're always fighting against each other. What patriarchy has done, it is it has disenfranchised the black male. And so the black male is defeated because he can't compete against his competitor, which is the white male. And so this hierarchical structure Each one of these levels has a different challenge, and that's the part that a lot of people don't understand. We think in terms of privilege, but we do not think in terms of humanity and survival. So um, each class has a challenge that they have to face that is unique to them, each class. So when you get to the black male in the patriarchal structure, You have to understand that men have to have governing controls on their behavior. The men at the top of the food chain have some form of control on their behavior because they have to run systems and stuff like that. So they have to be more organized. They have to be more constrained, but they also can hide a lot of their behavior in the shadows. Right. So but they still have to have some level of governing control over their behavior. Where the black male is on the pyramid, he's further down where there are less controls. So since he doesn't have those controls, he's able to run free. Okay, even though he's still in competition with the white male, because men are always in competition with each other, no matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter. So um, he's running free. And then, like you were talking about with your younger brother, if you keep doing stuff for him, you know that he's going to grow up to be entitled. Well, women are a, are, are a natural resource to men. The black male in a patriarchy, 
the black male and the white male are both standing on top of women. So they are standing on the resource that keeps giving resources. So black women, which is on the bottom of this whole patriarchal system, they are abundant in resources, right? And they are supporting the black male by coddling him, letting him stay in the house, and he's running free. So his whole issue with his ability to elevate is really him fighting himself because he's being coddled and supported by black women, but he's also allowed to run free with no governing controls through philosophy. See, the white male is up there at the top where all the philosophies are, where they are born at, which gives him more control on his behavior. So the issue between black men and white men is the fact that white men outthink black men due to philosophy and they have a power that the black male doesn't have. So he is, his e the black male's ego is totally destroyed, which makes him even more violent than, than the white male if you just put them uh, in, in, a, in a free open reign to see what they would do. So that's how that affects it them the the male and for the women you already understand that they are both oppressed in a way to continue to support the men of that group okay yeah that makes a lot of sense actually um i also wanted to point out that when i first tried your stuff i was a little like oh ah, right because mm -hmm. like that's it kind of seems how it goes like you find Princell and then you're like, wow, that sounds crazy. And then you listen to it and you're like, dang, that's not so crazy, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but what really solidified, like, all of your points for me was whenever a man would try and come on to the show and, like, disprove you. And then, like, you just see them run around in circles. And it was, like, it, that was, like, like, I don't think they realize how much they're just, like, solidifying everything you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's and kind of humorous and also kind of sad. Yeah, they, they have no self-awareness at all. And so once you once you learn the nature of a male, you realize that the male has a he can't lie. See, the male can only lie to a woman when the woman lives in the land of delusion. The moment the woman gets out of delusion, you start to see how difficult it is for a man to tell you a lie. Because no matter how much he tries to lie, his behavior shows you otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess just thank you for doing everything you do, which seems to be a pretty common message that you receive. But, like, it's kind of true. Um, and thank you for thank you for taking my call. Uh, there's, I know there's a lot of people calling. Um, and I guess thank you for your time. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. That was a great call. Okay. That's the second time uh, she's called. So that was the last call. I want to read something. Let me read the super chats. For t I mean, I already did the super chats, and I think a couple more came in. But I need to um, read the um, – I need to read the cash apps real quick. So I got share five dollars, uh, Jayla Wade ten dollars, Iris or Iris five dollars, Sis Tracy ten dollars, Lolita twenty one dollars, Audrey Pabe a hundred dollars, Marquita Ward fifteen dollars, share five dollars, and Talicia ten dollars. I want to read. Thank y'all. Something out of Patent on Leadership when it comes to. What? Accountability. When it comes to accountability. Okay. Which it seems like Fresh and Fit did not have. Men say that they are leaders. But as I have shown you on several occasions that these males lack leadership abilities. Right. They lack leadership abilities. 173, accept accountability for your decisions. Fresh and fit blamed 
the matrix. There is a matrix. That's what they said. They just don't want y'all to get this message. They do not take responsibility for their own behaviors, but they want you to submit to them. Accept accountability for your decisions. He never used his stars to cover his errors. He never used his stars to cover his errors. Master Sergeant John L. Mims, Patton's personal drives from September 1940 to May 1945. He never used his stars to cover his errors. You know the old saying, to err is human, to forgive is divine. When you make a mistake, give the people you work with, including those you supervise, a shot at divinity. Admit your error. Own up. Then propose a course to correct the mistake. Never use your authority to mask mistakes. This is what males do. They do not admit fault for anything. It's everybody else's fault. But they want to hold women accountable, right? So in this book, note, note 173 comes first. Accept accountability for your decisions first. Then the next page, which is 174, says demand accountability from others. You cannot demand accountability from anybody else until you accept accountability your damn self. Right? See, what it is, is... Let them tell it. Priscilla want to be a man. She hate men. Right? She wish she was a man. Wrong. Everything. Everything that these men. See in me. Is what a woman is. And they have been lied to. And told. That that's a man. This is the reason why they struggle with this shit. Because they can't do it. They ain't got no damn woman in them. They don't have the ability to lead. Their egos are too fragile for them to accept accountability. The male is born with a fragile ego. So to accept accountability is the hardest shit for him to do. And it is necessary for a leader to accept accountability. Weak ass dudes cannot be leaders. A motherfucker with a weak ego who can't admit fault could never be a goddamn leader. Women need to learn what leadership is. So they can see that these dudes ain't capable. They ain't capable of leadership. They ain't capable of love. They ain't capable of shit. But running a damn mouth and stroking a dick. That's all they capable of. Right? You want a real one? You want a real one? Hop on my team, god damn it. Right? You want a real one? Join the lesbian cult, god damn it. <laughs> y'all thought calling this was a... Y'all thought calling the high power podcast with a lesbian cult was going to turn motherfuckers away. Bitch, you just making them join some more. <laughs> you making them join some more. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> Punishment is not something most management texts talk about. And in most management contexts, punishment is not a viable option for shaping behavior. Punishment is, is not a viable option for shaping behavior. But for some reason, the ego-driven male thinks it is. He wants to be a leader while abusing women psychologically. All while 
about not taking personal accountability is goddamn self. Y'all really out here listening to clowns and you really out here listening to the mammy sphere who also don't know no damn better. Tell they ass to put a dick in their mouth and be quiet because that's all that needs to be in their mouth. Don't nothing need to come out of their mouth except for a bunch of nut milk that they don't want to swallow. Put a dick in your mouth, be quiet and don't nothing need to come out of your mouth except for nut milk because you don't know what you're talking about. Right. Punishment is not something most management texts talk about. And in most management contexts, punishment is not a viable option for shaping behavior. However, analysis and correction of errors and inappropriate actions is an important part of management. Right? You can't hold nobody accountable without first holding yourself accountable. Accept accountability for your decisions and then demand accountability from others. Yeah, people going to keep on joining the lesbian cult, goddammit. Because the lesbian cult is the only motherfucking thing out here that make any damn sense. Right. However, analysis and correction of errors and inappropriate actions is an important part of management. And the point to be learned here is that such analysis and correction must come quickly and must be made without flinching. Business can be highly unforgiving. Unlike in war, an error will probably not result in death, but it may result in substantial losses of money. Listen. This sound like fresh and fit, don't it? Listen, people tried to correct fresh and fit before they ass got demonetized. Leadership. Before they got demonetized, instead of them talking about crying and writing books why men can't get no pussy because that's what the whole damn book was really about talking about why women deserve less no the title of that book should have been why men crying over pussy why men can't get no pussy instead of writing bullshit like that they should have been reading shit like this because maybe they wouldn't have been demonetized had they actually understood what leadership was. Because if leadership is synonymous to manhood, then why you ain't acting like a goddamn man? Why you ain't acting like a leader? Business can be highly unforgiving. Unlike in war, an error will probably not result in death. But... It may result in substantial losses of money, time, opportunity, and other resources. Substantial losses of money. Six figures a month. A million, millions of dollars they just lost. Time. Oh, all that time they put in for nothing. The opportunities now. You lost the opportunity to go back to the FBI. You have lost opportunities to work with other people for brands. And you have lost the natural resource of women. And you will see that decline more and more over time. This is what happens when you do not have leadership abilities. As the natural consequences of error, as the natural consequences of error are unforgiving and often instantaneous. So your response to error and poor judgment should be frank and immediate. They had ample opportunity to correct their behavior and they did not. They made a decision. To continue to not act on the warnings. 
as the natural consequences of error are unforgiving and often instantaneous. So your response to error and poor judgment, poor judgment should be frank and immediate. It sounds like men need to truly learn what it means to be a leader. But they'll never do it because they truly believe leadership is in their penis and their nutsack. And the mammosphere believe that same bullshit. And that's why they say Priscilla want to be a man. Because the things that they should possess in themselves, they see it in me. And they see that they don't, they see they ain't like me. They see they can't be me, right? Listen, if pussy is a reward and you see all the pussy is over here, why don't you learn how to be, why don't you learn how to get your weight up? Why don't you learn how to be better? Why don't you learn how to read? Why don't you learn how to take responsibility and accountability? The same shit you trying to ship to somebody else. So, I'm going to read this one piece before I let y'all go. Out of Think and Grow Rich with leadership, since we that's what we talking about. Since we talking about leadership, I wanna say that. <laughs> hey baby. <laughs> Woo. There we go. Just going to turn to this one page and read it. Right. Number 11 failures of leadership. Willingness to assume full responsibility. The successful leader must be willing to assume responsibility for the mistakes and shortcomings of his followers. If he tries to shift this responsibility, he will not remain the leader. If one of his followers makes a mistake, and shows himself incompetent, the leader must consider that it is he who failed. These guys do not have leadership mentalities. They do not have leadership capabilities. They are not leaders. They are weak little boys who are begging for attention and mammies Keep giving it to them. And with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed tonight's show. And I'm going to holler at you on the flip side. Peace, love, and happiness.